Hi everybody, welcome to my little corner where there's no wrong way to play with paper. I hope you're having a wonderfully blessed day. We are doing day 24, 30 days of sketches. I don't think I need to say it, but just in case you're new, everything you need to know is in the description. Um, the 30 Days of Sketches Facebook group where you can get the sketches for free. The playlist where you can see everyone who is putting content of um, 30 Days of Sketches. So you can just click that and it'll run through all the different content creators. And you'll be inspired by someone. You truly will if you're new. I would love it if you subscribed. I would be honored if you did. And if you are one of my besties here on YouTube, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up. If you like the 30 Days of Sketches, you like it when I do them, that's how I create my list of what to film next year. So let me know you like them. And I would love it if you left a comment. I always answer, it takes me a little bit, sometimes a really long bit, but I get there eventually. Okay, today is by Christine Foster. I love Scrapping on the Fly. If you guys have not checked out Scrapping on the Fly here on YouTube, she makes me giggle. She is so fun and she does real life. Um, I love hearing her story. Christine is very talented. She is a lot of fun. So check her out for sure. And let's just get at it. So I'll try to remember to put it up here. I've been, knock on wood, I've been doing good. So basically what we have is kind of like a rainbow arch going on both sides. She has a little banner and a little banner. And then she has some photos. Now, mine is going to go in a totally different direction. If this does not prove to you that a sketch is just meant to inspire you, I, I don't. I don't know what will because I'm not going to have rainbows and I am going to have an upside down arch, kind of, sort of. Okay, we're going to talk about it. And this side, I'm just going to make a grid. I'm still doing a two page layout, but I was inspired by her arch and that's about as far as I got. Sorry, Christy. <laughs> I can't wait to see your layout because then that's the fun part, right? Everyone will do it different and we will all get ideas and use this sketch many times. That's why I really encourage you to go print them off over on 30 Days of Sketches with Christine and tell her I sent you. Tell her I said hi. All right. So let's see. First things first. Let's put that here. I've been trying to make it so you can see it even after I pull down the sketch. We are going to have some fun. These are on our way to Roswell. This is actually in Roswell. And my daughter... Okay, y'all tell me if your teenager likes doing this. Takes photos of all of us and uses the .5 and makes us have ginormous heads. I, I don't, she thinks it's the funniest thing on the planet. It it, it makes me look old because it shows all my little wrinkles. But this time she got her dad. So you best believe I'm doing this photo. And then this is um, some mountains, the white sands in New Mexico, the missile range. Um, we are going to make another trip probably next spring after Jill's done with band. But, um, cause right now it's all about band at our house. But, um, there's like, oh gosh, my husband's favorite movie. Oh, his favorite story to fall, Billy the Kid. So there is like a trail over here by White Sands and it follows Billy the Kid's trail and what he did and the house he held up in. And we're definitely going back for that. So that, that will, you know I'm gonna scrap it too. Beam Me Up is going to be my title. But, so I took this arch and I made a spaceship. I printed it off. I cannot take credit for this. My scrappy bestie, I'm like, what am I gonna do for this layout? She thought of this. I, I can't even begin to tell you. Well, I kind of had an idea of how to do it, but she told me how to do it. <laughs> so, I wouldn't be functioning without her. Okay, so this is my spaceship. I simply printed it in fussy cut. I tried to do the scan and cut on my Cricut. I don't know, I couldn't figure it out. I couldn't, and I didn't have the patience to be honest. I probably could have figured it out, but I didn't have patience. And then I did this shape on my Cricut and all of these papers, I know I've been telling you guys, but these are all out of a paper pad. I don't even know the name of the paper pad because I ripped the paper pad apart. They're just in my space um, section of my crafty paper. So these are just moons of half moon, full moon, all that stuff. And then um, I have some embellishments. So let's just put it together. Just basically going to do a grid. This is the photo. Beam me up. I do not know where this is going to go. I'm thinking maybe here. It's time for a lot of trial and error because my brain is not quite sure what it wants. So then I pulled out a pile, 
yes, a pile of embellishments, okay? So there's a couple things I'm thinking maybe I can do. Maybe I could journal here, which would work really well, because I do have some journaling to do. And maybe an embellishment here and then something over on this page. I don't know if that's gonna work, but I'm crossing my fingers that all of my swap goodies, we did have a space um, theme this year, swap. I'm thinking I'm gonna do stars, those stars instead of enamel dots, maybe those swirly buttons. Um, I'm hoping it'll all come in handy. Here's a tag. I could do a tag for sure. That would be kind of cute maybe over here, right? Love your life. That's really cute. I don't know, it's a possibility. Here's reach for the stars and I'm doing gold stars. I mean, this whole thing was already, did I make this one? I think I made this in one of the chit chat and clusters. <laughs> I don't know anymore. I don't know. What if I put that? We don't really need to see my husband's hand. It's all about his big head. <laughs> His dog, I, I can't. Jill is definitely her father's child. That, that's all I'm going to say. They are two peas in a pod. They truly are. Okay, I could also maybe, what if I pulled this down here? I would be covering Junior's. Oh, that's okay. I like that. Covering his ear a little bit, but that's all right. And then I could do an alien. Oh, I like that. I don't know what to say. I'm just crazy today. I'm in a happy mood. It happens. What if we, what if we did this one, right? We did this tag. I could ink this. I need to ink this in blue. I could ink this in blue and then maybe tuck this here, right? Mm, I just like the beam me up better. I love the tag, just not, not quite working for me. Okay, then I could do a, what if I did this? What if I went like that? But they're purple. I mean, I have a lot of purple goodies here because I was thinking that's the direction I was, because I just toss things on my um, desk. You guys, this one might work. Oh, that's not too bad. I like that. Okay. I have to convince myself, but yeah, I do like it. But I, I, I feel like, I think if I ink this, it'll make a difference. I love this. Love this. And then I'll have the stars. Let's, let's ink it. Let's see if that makes a difference. I need to ink this one as well. So sometimes inking changes everything. I know. I say that a lot, but I really do believe it is the cheapest and it is the easiest thing to do to change the look of your layout. So let's let's work on it here. See if we can't learn to love it a little more. And I will say when I journal, it'll make this page look fuller too. Journaling does that. At least I think it does. Do you guys think journaling is a big part of your layout? I do. I mean, it's the story. We don't always have a lot of journaling, but I think it's good to have open space when we are um, have a big story to tell and let it be a highlight. Okay, so let me finish this up. Okay, there, I have it all done like that. See, look at the difference. Doesn't that make it look more like a bean? And I do think I want bean me up. I have two choices. I could put bean me up here, right? Let's tear this so we can put it side by side. I could put bean me up right there, which would be super cute. And then I could journal on each side. I can't decide. Somebody shout out what we need to do. Did I have this down too far the whole time? I'm sorry. Um, hmm. 
I, I don't know. that Because I love these. I think they're very, you know, alien-ish. They're kind of Halloween-ish too. But I just don't feel like they go with it. Yeah, we're going to avoid that. I, I'm, I don't know. So here's what I'm going to do. I have to marinate on it. <laughs> I do know I'm going to put stars. That I do know. So let me like, I'll glue this down, marinate on this the whole time. And when I come back, I'm either going to have the title down here with some stars around it and I'll have journaled up here or I'm going to journal on the sides. We'll see which one it ends up. I'll be right back. All right, everybody, I got everything glued down. I did decide to put the title up towards the top with some help with opinions from my scrappy friend because I'm just having a day. <laughs> then I journaled on each side of the photo. I added the cluster. I did put the little guy, this little guy. He was actually made by Lori Hunter um, in 2022. So I've had this one for a while, Captain Lori. And we put him on top instead because, you know, he matches the alien over here fun layout. I wasn't sure. This intimidated me a little. I'm not going to lie, but I'm excited to see what everyone else does and be inspired. I hope you guys, like I said, will check everyone else out too. All right. I will see you for day 25 tomorrow. I hope you're blessed and have a great day. Bye.